hi everyone welcome back to my channel so some of the questions i've received are centered around making friends in finland is it easy to make friends with finnish people and is it easy to find friends and how you can make friends in finland so in this video i'll be sharing with you guys 10 different ways that you can make friends in finland 10 fastest easiest way you can make friends with finnish people or people in finland I've made a couple of videos before about making friends in Finland, how it is difficult and how you can overcome such challenges and such difficulties. So I'm going to share those videos right here so you can go and check them out later. Now these 10 things I'm listing is not in any order of importance. I mean one is not better than the other. It doesn't mean that one works better than another. These are just 10 different ways or things that you can try and also depending on where you are at the moment and the, the where you live, you know. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. The very first one is from your work or your school. So if you're a student, a good way to make friends is by connecting with other students. All right, so it doesn't have to be those only in your class during lunch time and during students uh, things when activities that students do you can connect with people and make friends and also through work you can make friends with people at work as well if you're working now um, why these two places are, are good is that Finland is such a country that people there's, I always talk about it like people mind their business and people do their things so it's not a place where you can easily go and knock at the door, on the door of your neighbor. Or where you can just stop somebody on the street and, and say, what is your name? Things like that. So it's not possible. You cannot do that. But if it's in school or at the workplace, these places have created a platform or an environment for you to actually reach out to people. You know, during lunch break, you can just talk to any of your colleagues or any of your, your classmates. So this is one way that you can make friends in Finland. Number two is through church activities. If you're a Christian or you belong to any religion and then you go to your um, worship place so there you can make friends with people as well because the the, the the good thing about this environment as well is that it's not um so official so it's a more relaxed environment and then people are more open to listening to you you know and then connecting with you so the church or any other place of worship is a place where you can also uh, make friends and make and then connect with people and then the third one is true hobbies hobbies could be like um, um a football club or ice hockey club or things like that you know it could also be dancing you know so whatever your hobby is so you that mm, the good thing is that there are uh, clubs you know or different uh, groups of these hobbies so you can also connect with them and also if you're on facebook maybe your hobby has a facebook group you see people posting there that um, for example let's say your hobby is about um enjoying nature you see somebody posting there that we are going for a walk in the nature we are going for picnic things like that so we want to go and play um uh football friendly football you know amongst just ordinary people and would you like to be a part of it you know so they put it there on the on the group and then people say that they want to come and join so that is another way through these hobbies hobby groups or or hobby uh places you know so when you go there do not hesitate to just um chat up somebody and just try to connect with them so it's a good way to make friends all right another one at the club like the nightclub so if you're the type that likes to go uh, dancing or just go to the nightclub and, and things like that of course you also find people there again the environment is relaxed it's not like um a work environment or people are not busy people just came there to have fun so the 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 disadvantage of that environment is that people may come to that club with only one thing in mind and maybe that's not what you have in mind maybe they just want to you know um that but then what you have in mind is you just want friendship so that's the disadvantage of using that kind of platform because even if you go along with that the next morning you may not hear from the person again so depends on you or, or what you want but the club if you do club if you if you do club so clubbing is one way that you can make friends so i have actually made some friends through not a club but it's a 
a, an evening uh, uh, restaurant, okay, people just sit down and then just drinking or just um, taking tea or coffee. I've actually met somebody there because I was sitting down with a friend. Another person came to join us and then she introduced us and then we were all ladies. And that's how the second lady became my friend as well. So one way to make friends is through these um, clubs and all that. But depends on what you have in mind but keep that also as as one of the ways you can make friends the fifth one is by community event or, or events organized by the city so if you live in a, a place it's also good to to be active in that you can try to find out what is happening in the place if the the um the government is or the local government is organizing some kind of event or activity in the city center something like that it's also good to be a part of it so usually they have the website or the pages where you can check these things so if you see if any day you're free and you see that there's an activity in the city center people always go there the good thing about people here is that they always go to these activities so you can also if you're free you can go to any of these activities and then just look around relax and then just say hi and smile it's a good way or is a one of the ways it's one of the ways you can also make friends through activities Activities. So these things are, are, are helpful as well. And the sixth one, this also is very, very important, is by volunteering. In Finland, I've always talked about volunteering, right? I have a couple of videos where I talked about this. Maybe you can check it out. When you volunteer, it's also um, an opportunity for you to expand your 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 network <laughs> and then get to meet more people and also you get to increase your own skills so when you volunteer then you can also become friends with the persons you're, you're working with at that moment it's a good way to meet, meet people me myself i've met a lot of people through volunteering so absolutely put that on your list so even if you're a student it's good to also make out time a little bit you know to do all these things of course you do you do go have uh, hobbies right so make time out and then during those hobbies talk to people and then you volunteer make time out during that time then connect with people so it's a good way because like i mentioned earlier this is not a place where you can just stop bother people and stop them on the road you know you have to meet them somewhere convenient for you to strike up friendship with people and i'm going to talk more about that later let's just finish the list first another one is through a uh, group training now when it comes to working out me personally i love group training i i don't really I, I mean i can't just i don't like just going to the gym you know but i do like when it's group training so there is the dancing group and then there are all types of um, uh, group training so if you belong to one of them then it's a, a, another because uh, uh, it's also motivation for you you know people like to see other people work out and then get motivated sometimes the group training could be up to like 10 15 percent sometimes it could even be a small training of about five persons you know so it depends on how much you're paying and the place so if you you are in a group training it's a good place to to meet friends too because sometimes after training some people want to have a cup of tea together or they just go and take a shower and then they meet up later so it's also another avenue you can make friends but let me put a caveat here group training is different from gym now uh, many people when they go to gym they want to be left alone All right. So if it's just a gym where people are on their own and just working out, it's not so advisable to just go and bother people. Hi, you know, and talk to them. Generally in the gym, people just do their own thing like me. Personally, when I'm in the gym, which I don't always go to, but when I go, I just like to focus, play my music and do my thing. So I don't, I wouldn't appreciate conversation, but there are other people that may like it, but not everyone like it. Another one is through your kids. Now, if you have kids who are in, in school or in the daycare, one way that you can make friends or one way that most parents have made friends is through their kids. You know, so if your kid, your child is friends with another child, usually they want to organize play dates. You know, you go, your, your, they, they, even the children do it themselves. You know, they, they want, uh, they, one child will be telling the other child, hey, how about you come to me this Saturday? Let's play in my room this Saturday. I want to show you my new toy. And then the other ch child says, hey, hey, let's play in my backyard. Come things like that. I mean, my daughter does it with other of her friends and they all do it together. So that is a way to that the parents connect. So if the kids do it for a while, there is no way that the parents will not be friends because because of the children, you guys also have to connect. When the kids are playing, you guys are talking or drinking tea and then you guys organize play dates and then also uh, play dates to the park and swimming. So that is another way that most people 
make friends especially if you're a busy parent and you may not have time to make friends so through your kids friends then parents become friends as well i mean that works all the time if you're a parent i believe you know what i mean another way that people that people have made friends and you can also make friends is through your neighbor although i have mentioned so many times in finland that the the idea of community you may have in other countries is not what we have here in that um, here is not a place where you can just knock on the door of your neighbor and ask for salt or just knock and bother them people respect their privacy people want their privacy and they respect yours so you may live in an apartment and the, the neighbor is in the next apartment and you guys don't have never met like in two years you've not seen each other you know and you just avoid each other i don't know why but it is like that but i may i put it here on the list because this situation is not the same if you live in uh, maybe like in Omar Kotitalo, like that means like own home. So you find this in the city and in the apartments and all that. But in other places where people live in homes and then um, they are secluded, not these outskirts or rural areas, for example, it is very common for, for them to be friends. So it's not a bad thing if you see your neighbor in the yard or you're passing by and then you say hello. They kind of invite each other like um, if they have a party it is very common for one neighbor to invite the other neighbor how because sometimes some of them share the same backyard or some of them is in this rivitalo you know like um, I don't know what's rivitalo in English it's not like an apartment where you don't run into each other another way that you can make friends is through politics like um, political activities so it kind of connects people so when you go for your meetings and and then they have activities and things like that so you always see them connecting that is a, a way that you can also make friends i mean i do know some some foreigners who got lots of friends here yeah, made lots of finnish friends because they joined politics and they're in the politics like for me i joined politics since last year but uh, i haven't really had time to go for activities and things like that although the aim is not to to make friends for me joining politics is more because i want to be a part of um, what is happening here where i live i notice that foreigners don't really do much about these things and i just want to be a part of these things and, and know what's happening be a part of the society so that's why i joined but other than that, through joining the politics, I think I've met one or two persons through that, you know, so you can imagine how much friends I would make if I go for all the activities. So joining politics or any movement also is a way to connect with people on a different level and make friends. So these are practical ways that I've shared with you. And if anyone lives here in Finland, you have a way that you have um, uh, made friends and then I didn't add it, please kindly put that on the list as well. And if this video was helpful to you guys, give it a thumb up. And if you're new, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.